Hi there, sign of Libra. This is Kim here to do your reading for you all for your next 48 hours reading. Um, this is going to be uh, for, yeah, well, for next 48 hours for a general reading for you. So thank you so much, guys, for your likes, shares, comments, and subscribes. I appreciate all the support I get, and I do appreciate you all very much. So let's get started on your reading bringing in gem uh, gemini i'm sorry bringing in libras angels spirit guides uh please give us messages that's for their greater good always to move them forward ascension and clear and concise as can be so i've lit the intention candle today this one is focusing on your personal empowerment and energy so intending to boost your energy Okay, I felt like there might be two, and there is two. So let's see here. We have first Archangel Uriel. Archangel Uriel. Lord Y with Sil. I think that's it. Y with Sil. Accept and send healing. You are a being of the universe. Archangel Uriel, the twin flame of new beginnings, Archangel Aurora. So let me look up Archangel Uriel and see what your messages from them, from these angels are. First one being Archangel Uriel. Come into harmony and balance. Use your power for peace. This is the angel of peace re resonating with the deep gold that holds wisdom and works on the ruby ray. Enabling people to hold power with wisdom and communicate it to others. This is an envision of uh, freedom, happiness, and dissolving anything, any blocks, or any situations that prevent it. So choosing this card says that you're ready to come into balance and harmony. Call on this angel to help you with inner wisdom that should emerge and guide you through any challenge or situation presented to you. You are reminded that when wisdom is your guide, the outcome will always be for the highest good and you will feel totally safe and secure. This card also suggests that it's time to be a peace ambassador and examine your situations from an enlightened perspective. This will also enable your light to become peaceful and golden too. Lord, why with seal? I, I swear, I don't know if that's right or not. This is a power, a 10th dimensional angel from another universe who has recently arrived here to help our planet. This is the angel of birth here. He supervises who is allowed to incarnate. Also ensuring that every babel, baby, babel, every baby is born at exactly the right moment to catch the cosmic current for its journey. Mm. He's also the Lord of Karma who runs teaching schools here. Choosing this card suggests you're a being of the universe, one whose influence at a soul level extends beyond earth. To align your frequency with this great angel, find great uh, quiet space and center yourself and invoke him. Know that he's connecting with you and be open to the guidance. Be aware that when this angel arrives, there is much expected of you. It's an invitation to join and be part of this healing angel energy. So allow yourself to receive healing and send it to others too. That's the message from this 10th dimensional angel or higher being. Okay, we're going to use um, the urban tarot and we're going to clarify with the regular tarot been a while since I've used a different tarot deck, so I think I'm going to start using a few different ones just to give um, live and things up with different decks around here. I like using different decks. So these, the only thing I can say bad about them are is the, how big it makes your hand stretch. And we have temperance and we have strength on this split here. So if you have big hands, I guess this deck is okay for you. All right, so the Urban Tarot, a general reading for Libra, please. What's the issue? Right away, your energy is really strong. We have the Chariot being your current issue. 
um, about either travel or this is about how you're going to get to one destination to the other. And it is truly incorporating the victory that will be there too. It, it's, it's still set in motion for balance, knowing that there are still obstacles ahead, but um, the chariot energy is able to confront and get over really any obstacle that's in its way. So what is the challenge here? The strength. The strength card and the world card on the bottom. You will have a very strong reading, Libra. Already starting out with two major arcana. Yeah. Okay. So your strength, your bravery could be a challenging situation regarding finding strength and bra uh, bravery. And maybe about a Leo too. Maybe regarding a Leo finding strength or challenge. Uh, this could be a Cancer too. So what is at the root or at the base of all this? Another major arcana. I promise you this deck isn't full of major arcana. That's crazy. Whoo, heavy energy, heavy, heavy energy. Not heavy, actually, just a lot of energy. Um, we have the full relating to the sign or corresponding with the Aries. This is having to do about taking a leap of faith disregarding any previous judgments or views that you may have placed labels or expectations you may have put on a new circumstance because in order for this to truly be a new beginning the full the starting then it has to you have to drop any preconceived notions or judgments okay so that's at the root of this what's the past energy we might not have to clarify if it's going to be this um plane of what it means so five fast energy was competition arguing i'm even saying envy maybe not for you maybe towards you envy or jealousy which is a very heavy not not so great energy to have to move in what is the present energy though oh okay well it's five of swords but it's reversed so we're getting out of this energy like foolishness a game somebody's very um argumentative wants to fight about something with you okay this uh near future energy we might clarify that one actually um you're not you're not wanting to fight you're not wanting to engage in a fight you're wanting to get on with a healing here the near future energy it has you in the threshold of wrapping up arguments wrapping up um maybe not come i don't know yet if it's coming to a peaceful resolution or not there needs to be this healing before something's really decided upon or before you can tell whether the outcome is really good for you or not but there is a healing that comes first that's the point of this is there is a healing that still needs to be done what do we have in the you how are you feeling or libra how is libra feeling Libra is feeling like there's not a new passionate beginning or like you're waiting on good news, but it's not come yet. Maybe that's, and, and maybe in this sense, you're not wanting to take too much of a risk here, not wanting to be careless because there's still some things that need to be sorted out. Okay, what's in the environment? What's in the environment? Okay like Aries Aries with the Emperor uh, the Emperor here is kind of it's not it's like it needs to be in balance that's what I'm feeling so either somebody that's running a show or thinks they're dominating everything is doing so in a not so great manner or there's just something about the foundation and who's over it creating it building it that is is needing to get balanced here okay like taking you away from the energy of using fear to control, that would be bringing that in balance. Firm foundations, and this might be the building of firm foundations, having to go through this process. Okay, so what is the hope and fear? Or the hope or fear, I should say. The King of Pentacles, there's something about maybe a new adventure, a new building of a business. 
entrepreneurship. This is the master uh, businessman, this really good businessman. But it's all hinging on some good results here. But this is who's in charge of this new beginning with building the foundation or support for either a new business or um, the foundation to a family, of a relationship. Something that needs to be grounded is the hope. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Something that's really grounded, stable, and good at, like I said, running things. Okay, what is the outcome or projected outcome here? Ace of Disc, Ace of Pentacles. It's in the reverse here. I don't know if that's because this is an opportunity that hasn't come yet. If it's waiting, just like you're waiting on this good news. Let's get another card for this outcome energy. Oh, that is your new beginning. Good. Okay, this is your new beginning. Your, uh, it, it, it's all going to hinge on this new beginning starting and you really acknowledging and getting the, up the momentum could be travel but getting the momentum to go through this um opportunity is why it's turned upside down it's it's needing to be accessed this is also coming out oh my gosh with your ten of cups okay i have the emperor right here on the bottom then i have gain nine of pentacles and the ten of cups that wanted to come out this is not an opportunity that's missed. This is an opportunity that you can choose to take it if you want. And I don't know if you made up your mind to take it or not. That's why it's saying, look, you should probably take these. Hint, hint that this is going to be really good for you if you do. Ten of Cups, emotional fulfillment, happiness, family wishes coming true along with no codependent attachment energy nothing like that nothing for certain personal gain this energy is you being able to do things on your own self-reliant windfalls of money maybe winning inheritance is something's gonna make you extremely happy and it does have to do with this emperor energy or um strong foundation energy so all I was going to take the tarot for is I was going to try to use this to clarify the four of swords in reverse for your near future. And, um, and that's about it because we could do the present moment with this five of swords, but I, I think we got a good understanding on that. News is coming. Good news is coming like this right here. It just hasn't arrived yet, but it will come. Five of, um, let's do five of swords in reverse first for the present energy. Give us more information on that. Okay, because you're on your way. It says you're on your way to your ten of pentacles. Not everybody's going to agree with how you're trying to get there. Um, there may be arguments along the way kind of stopping or providing a block to you enjoying all of this wonderful emotional love and harmony and wisdom because of this. This would be throwing it off balance. So if you go towards your Ten of Cups, this is coming out of the Five of Swords energy, which will probably send this upright. So Four of Swords in reverse for the near future. What's that about? Working on something slow and steady. That's why it's an issue. Okay, something that's going to be um, very productive, growing very good, is the Knight of Pentacle energy here in the near future. So this energy is also present. It's present. The one thing it seems like you're fighting for is stability. Is for your either business news or investment news or an offer of some sort. Knight of Pentacles is going towards stability. It is your momentum towards progress and victory here. So this all looks really good. I think patience and the temperance card that we saw in the beginning. I think those are definitely an issue. Having patience, knowing things are happening in divine timing and being really open to that. Um, let's teach you some tea leaves here and wrap up your reading. It was a good reading, Libra, for the most part. It's a pretty good reading. Stork, news of a birth of, um, or a new business opportunity. I'm like, news of a birth. Younger man, dealings or relationship with a younger man. Might be that Knight of Pentacle energy, too. Feather, someone you know is undependable and insincere. 
dog barking advice from a friend maybe this emperor energy or this might be the mentoring energy of the king of pentacles flowers happiness which is what you're going after and i see you getting that one two three four five and then six for peace and harmony handshake a meeting with a stranger could be important could prove important it might be with this king of pentacle energy or somebody some kind of authority over um foundations and, and running things i think it might be this king of pentacle energy advice on some kind of project or business all right guys thank you so much for your time and attention here sending you love and light i hope you have a really great rest of your weekend bye